So if the children would like to join me for the children's message. Are you excited? What's one of your favorite things to do on Easter? You can open eggs? That's an excellent one. Eat all the peeps that the Easter Bunny gives you? Eat all the peeps. Eat all the peeps that the Easter Bunny? Yes, yes. Well, we have some gifts for you this morning. So... I should have opened this bag before worship. There you go. <laughs> you didn't know we were going to be playing catch in worship, did you? Here you go. So, what is Easter about? Yes. Jesus? It's about Jesus. And what about Jesus? Well, on Easter, Jesus rose from the grave. And that's a really big deal because Jesus had been dead, and that's a really hard thing, isn't it? But he rose again, so he lives even now, which means that we can have a relationship with him, and because of that, we can be certain that even though we or the people we love pass away, that there's still life to come. Now we have some more gifts here. The Easter Bunny was very good to us today. And so you had said that you like uh, the eggs on Easter. What do you do with the eggs? Open them. You open them. Whoops, sorry. Well, what are the eggs doing closed? Back there. Well, let's take a look at an egg here. So you open the egg, and there's a surprise inside, right? Do you ever hide the eggs? You do? Do you know, why do you hide the eggs? It wouldn't be a hunt if they were just on the ground. <laughs> well, that's true, it wouldn't be a hunt, but why do we hide them in the first place? Why do we hunt them? Well, I'll tell you, because in, in the olden days, the egg was a symbol. Do you know what a symbol is? A symbol is something that stands for something else. And what comes out of an egg normally? Egg yolk and egg white. <laughs> what? Candy? Candy. Where do chickens come from? They come from an egg, right? Egg. Yes, chickens come from an egg. But an egg doesn't contain a chicken when you crack it open on, you know, to have your scrambled eggs, right? There has to be a transformation or a change inside that can make a chicken. Well, the egg made people think about new life coming from something that looks like a dead rock. And if you open it up at just the right time, you either get a runny, gooey mess or, or there's a, a little baby chicken inside it. And that made the early Christians think about the egg being a lot like the tomb that Jesus was in. And when the tomb opened up, Jesus was alive. And so we hide the eggs, well, we have eggs, to remind us of Jesus coming out of the tomb. And we hide them, and what do we do with things we hide? 
You look for him, right? So it reminds us that we're to look for Jesus. And when you go hiding and looking for Easter eggs, do you always find all the Easter eggs? No. When I was a kid, we used actual real eggs. And I remember one hot August day, I found an egg that had been hidden at Easter. And I picked it up and I broke it. There was not good stuff in that egg. <laughs> but now we usually have plastic eggs with good stuff in them all the time, don't we? And the good news is that not only do we seek Jesus, and just like we seek the eggs, but Jesus is always seeking us too. And we are all found, and none of us are ever hidden from him. And that is really, really good news. So let's see our... Uh, Theme verse for the month. Would somebody like to read that for me? You read it? <laughs> Let's Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Resurrections and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. John 11, 25. Thank you. Yay. So everybody got your Easter gifts here? Okay, then we can go back to our seats. And this week, you don't have to worry about running over Pastor Jim because I'll be on this side of you. 